So now I'm going to do a review over Abeka's fourth grade science curriculum. This that you see is the current edition. This is the um, it's paperback, and this is the fourth grade student textbook. It is Understanding God's World, and this is fourth edition. This book is uh, $22.90 is what it retails for. And this thin paperback is the answer key for all the questions in here, and it is $12.50. Alright, so this book looks like it's copyrighted 2009, and it is the fourth edition and current edition, like I said. So after a child would get done using this science curriculum for fourth grade, um, then they would move on to Abeka's health for fourth grade. The health and science are together, and by using the science and health together, they are a full year's worth of science curriculum. And that's just how Abeka, you know, has it laid out. You do science first, get that done with, and then you start with health. Okay. So the table of contents here, um, I guess unit one maybe, science. So you have um. You kind of learn about like what scientists are and what they do. You learn to observe, and each um oh well, I'm not gonna worry about that. But anyway, you learn about North American birds and flowers. Then it gives you some activities to do and some special features here. So the unit one's on science. Unit two is on insects. Miniature marvels of creation. So you'll learn about. I mean, they tell you there's like 10 million different insects, um, how to make an insect zoo, insect life, so life cycles, designer heads, design for motion, crickets and grasshoppers, how insects defend themselves, how insects communicate, where insects live, dwellings of social insects. And then it talks about Jean Henri Fabry, or Henry Fabry, explorer of backyard wonders. Um, a science concept is incomplete metamorphosis, has special features, and a chapter checkup. And plants, provision for man and beast. Um, plants are designed to produce, talks about needle leaf trees, broadleaf trees and palms, observing flowers, seed design, traveling seeds, germination, or germination, poisonous plants, plants that are helpful and beautiful, George Washington Carver, the plant doctor, and something to do to be um, has some steak flowers, observing the parts of the seed, germination, some more special features, and then a chapter checkup. Chapter four is about birds. So you have birds in your backyard, recognizing birds, feeding birds, bird baths and bird houses, birds of the forest, designer birds, design for flight, the Jack Minor Bird Sanctuary. Something to do would be observing a lift. Science concepts, how do they sing? Why should a bird bath not be made of metal? How do a bird keep how do a bird's feathers keep it warm? Then a chapter checkup. Chapter five is over matter, which covers um, water, air, and weather. So God's gift of water, water for life, water, steam and ice, water changes state, water's energy, the atmosphere, air's weight and pressure, wind, water in the air. Condensation and precipitation, kinds of precipitation and clouds, weather forecasting, Robert Boyle, father of chemistry, something to do, which would be um, observing surface tension and dissolving substances, observing how a water wheel works, the weight of air, observing air pressure, the power of moving air, evaporation and heat, observing condensation, and a concept as to why the sky is blue, and a chapter checkup. Chapter 6 is on energy, so sound and hearing. Sounds all around us, making sound, receiving sound, high and low sounds, sounds that bounce back, preserving sound, Alexander Graham Bell, an inventor of the telephone. Something to do, observing sound travel, a tin can telephone, observing sound vibrations, high and low sounds, observing sound vibrations bounce back and forth, sound difference, Special feature, the American Manual Alphabet, and a chapter checkup.
So, geology, chapter 7, is about um, planet Earth here. So, you have our home, our Earth, the Earth's motion, oceans and continents of the Earth, soil and the Earth's layers, water and soil, rocks, and something to do would be measuring the Earth, the cause of day and night, why winter is cold, making a compass, making crystals, and collecting rocks. And then you have your checkup. So, chapter 8 is on oceanography, wonders of the sea, the paths of the seas, the continental shelf and slope, ocean floor and open ocean, exploring the sea, salt and waves, giants of the sea, three invertebrates, something to do, making currents, the floating crayon and icy glue, science concepts, the wonder of fish, what is water pressure, and what is, um, yeah, what is jet propulsion, with a chapter checkup. Chapter 9 and the last chapter is on astronomy. Consider the heavens. Wonders of the night sky. Seasons, days, and years. Pictures in the sky. The sun and the moon. The origin of the universe. And something to do. Make a star viewer. Stars and sunlight. Science concepts. The movements of the sun. A dark shirt on a hot day. Why does the moon shine if it cannot produce light? And a chapter checkup. Then it has a glossary, a scripture index, a regular index, and then where they got information from. Okay, so each chapter and lesson, it's colorful. Okay, so um, there'll be real photography and there'll be some drawings. Um, so they give you a reading selection and some special words will be in bold print. They give you some questions to think about. And then a little a few questions about what you, like after every short reading selection, they give you a few, you know, just to make sure you comprehend what you just read. And then something to do is just that, something to do. <laughs> you go outside and you do this. And then this will be the next day's reading assignment. Talks about field guides, right up here. Gives you some pictures of some plants, some animal tracks, feathers and rocks and seeds. Something to do, and this would be observing North American birds and flowers. Bird of the week. So they give you this bird project and flower project to do, to where um, they expect you to learn each state's bird and flower. Now we didn't do this. Of course, we did our state, but um, but we didn't do this. And then also um, to memorize the flowers of Canada's provinces, like Alberta's is the wild rose, British Columbia is the flowering dogwood, gives you information. We did not memorize this either. You know, I mean, we looked through them and it's like, oh, we know that flower, but we, um, we didn't memorize them. And then each chapter they give you a card for a bird. So this is the state bird card of, um, so the robin is the state bird of Connecticut, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And it gives you some information about the robin. And, you know, this is interesting. Then chapter two is over insects. My daughter, she, she really learned a lot from this book. She really, really loved it. Um, it, it was just a really good book. You can see there's a lot of real photography colored pictures. This is an actual um, photograph of locusts. Okay, so here's some more comprehension um, checkup questions. And the answers to those are in this answer key here. And that's all that this book is. And we have another state bird, this meadowlark. We have a consider the ladybug. More questions. And these are social insects, some bees and wasps and hornets. We have some termites. And here's the chapter checkup. And like I said in my um, health. Rebecca Health video, we don't use um, 
at least we haven't as of yet. We don't use the quizzes or the test. I just use the chapter checkup questions as their grade. We have plants. And here are some garden flowers. It says you should know. It talks about some plants that are poisonous. Growing seed. And here's the poisonous plant that it talks about. So it talks about um, poison ivy, George Washington Carver, and another chapter checkup. Chapter 4 is on birds. We just, all right, I'm sorry about that. Okay, yes, as I was trying to say, we really enjoyed uh, this book. Um, this current school year, well, this school year we just finished when she was in fifth grade. I'm sure you've seen in my videos, um, we done kind of unit studies. We've done dinosaur study, and then we've done botany study. Um, when next year, when this fall starts, she will be doing um, astronomy and some other unit studies. But starting back up in her seventh grade and on, we will probably go back to Abeka's science. We just, we really like it. And she just, she loved it. This was not a problem for her at all. I mean, it just... The fourth grade, Abeka Science, and Abeka History, and Abeka Health, she just loved. She didn't have any trouble with it. She enjoyed it. Um, and this section was over clouds. But uh, anyway, she just really, it was really good. I don't know if all of them are, but um, this year, the fourth grade year was. So chapter six is over energy, you know, and just gives you some little um, questions and some things to do. Here it talks about sign language, receiving sound, and how different animals hear, sound waves, and something to do. Use a slinky. And as you can see, there's another, you know, every chapter has a um, state bird to remember. How to preserve the sound. The telephone invention. Checkup. Chapter 7, geology. We've done this. Well, I guess you can say we've done them all because we completed the book. And she really liked this um, over rocks. She finds rocks interesting. Well, actually, she loves the whole book. I don't know if there wasn't anything that... She didn't really have much to say about this lesson or chapter, the oceanography. She done it, but she didn't have much to say about it. But her favorite was the rock. Well, I guess the geology one. And um, the clouds. And birds. Those may have just been her favorite. This is over astronomy. It talks about astronauts. Days of creation. There's the checkup, and here's a glossary with the pronunciation key. It gives you the meanings of the word. A scripture index. And a regular index, if you're looking up a, a, <laughs> a specific word. Um, you know, you can find out what page that word was talked about. 
Anyway, so that is that. But um, if you have any questions or comments, just ask. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.